I guess it, I guess it kind of comes back to that whole um, ride the night thing. I haven't seen anyone build a 650 like this. The bike's fairly black. It's uh, quite angry and um, should be a whole lot of fun. Build so far, it's been pretty cool actually. We sort of got involved with it and we went to SNS Performance Cycles and as they do a few upgrades for them and stuff like that. So the SNS pipe on it is the only one in the world. We gave them a few ideas of what we wanted the pipe to look like and they sort of come back with what's on the bike now. The KTX suspension has made the first set of tracker inserts ever for a GT Continental for the bike. The back end's been cut off put a saddleman tail section on it. Rennie at 7 Distributions helped out with building a set of custom talon wheels for it, so it's got a Speedway front hub with no mounts for a disc or anything like that. Uh, it's got a YZ rear hub in it, custom spaces all around to fit the hubs into the bike. So far it's looking pretty awesome. I'm real excited to get it on the dyno because it's the first motor of, like sort of performance motor I've ever built myself that's going to be dynoed. So um, I'm real looking forward to that and seeing what actually comes out of the motor horsepower wise. The 650 has been a great bike to build off. Just from stripping it down, you can tell they've designed the bike to be customised. I think the one thing that really surprised me was how easy it is to get the motor in and out of the frame. The way they've built the cradle for the engine is fantastic. Every bike should be built like that. I've always thought they've been a great bike, a blast to ride, but now that we've been able to build it and turn it into this bike we have, it's changed my perspective so much. Hopefully we get to run it for some people because I think running it for people and hearing it how angry it sounds is something quite special. I think people are going to be pretty surprised with what we've done with that bike. Oh, I just hope they're impressed with the effort that everyone's put in to make it happen really. Flat tracking starting to grow again, especially in America, it's getting big so we wanted to show people that you know you can build a Royal Enfield into that kind of bike and I think this build is just going to show everyone what a platform it is.